Hi everyone, I'm Rick Beato on today's Everything Music. It's What Makes This Song Great, episode 23. The band is Smashing Pumpkins and the song is 1979. Coming up next. Nineteen seventy nine was the second single from Smashing Pumpkins record entitled Melancholy and the Infinite Sadness. The year refers to Billy Corgan turning twelve and is a coming of age song. It was really a different song for them. They had a lot of heavy songs. I mean, I'm a big fan of the heavy songs, you know, Bury Me from Gish or uh Cherub Rock from Siamese Dream or um uh, Jelly Belly and Muzzle from from Melancholy. Those were really the Smashing Pumpkins songs that I really dug, those heavy songs. But you had songs like Disarm that had a string part, uh, a string quartet behind it also. 1979 has such an interesting riff and melody to it, and it was unlike anything that was on the radio really at that time. I think it was a really big song that year. So let's talk about the opening guitar part because it's really unusual. <laughs> Totally clean sound. It starts out with this octave uh, on the major seventh. It's got the low E in. And then it is a single note thing. Open A with a G sharp. Bending. So it's using a lot of major seventh chords. song there's nothing else other than the guitar the drums here's the drum part which is really a drum loop but it's uh, it sounds like it's a played drum loop it's a drum loop that was recorded of uh, Jimmy Chamberlain and then made into a loop which was probably done by Flood, who was one of the producers, along with Billy Corgan and Alan Mulder. Flood and Alan Mulder are two of my favorite producers and, and mixers and engineers. Then you have the other part that everybody knows, but they really aren't sure what they're hearing. It's kind of this echoed vocal with a tremolo. Check it out. It's got a lot of echo. Let's do it again. That is really the main part of the song along with the guitar lick. So it goes through that a couple times and then the verse vocal comes in, but it doesn't come in right on the beat. It's it's kind of like a delayed answer. Check it out. So the riff and then Shake down. You'll notice that the verse vocal actually begins on the B part of the riff, where it goes, Shake Down 1979 is on this part. So it's truly like an answer vocal part, okay? So it goes through the first two lines and then. Then you have the turnaround part, which is this, which is, goes up to F sharp minor seven. It's a two five one. The other thing that happens on the turnaround two five is this vocal part. So that happens with these two guitar parts. And then we're on to the second verse, where the bass enters as well. Has a really fat sound and works great with the drum part. Check out the bass and drums together.
Go check out this tune in your car next time you get a chance and you'll see how fat the kick drum and bass sound together. Next we're on to the second half of the verse, which has the same melody. Check it out. <laughs> Same two five turnaround. And the chorus. Check it out. I'll play along. So on the root. So when it gets to the B chord, it's actually doing the root too. It's actually B flat, but it's root, major seven, root, root. It's a single voice all the way through, but the harmony start out with a single voice and then they keep expanding and adding more voices. Let's check it out. And I don't even care to shake these zipper blues and we down now. Just wear our bones, we'll rest to dust, I guess, forgotten that. So it keeps expanding. It goes from the single harmony to uh, a three-part harmony, and then you have that uh, higher falsetto part added to it right here. I guess, forgotten, I guess. Also what happens in the chorus is this part. There's like this bell pad. Check it out. There's a bell in there, there's an acoustic guitar, and there's another electric guitar that happens in the chorus that goes on. After the second chorus comes the bridge. The chord progression starts on B, and it goes B, then C sharp, A, and then there's a, a little riff that happens. It's actually all down a half step. It's really B flat, but check it out. This part sounds like it's done with a baritone guitar. I just tuned down uh, to make to make it sound like this, but and then it's back to the verse. I really love the way the melody lays in with the guitars in the bridge part. I'm gonna play the guitars and the vocals together in the bridge. Check it out. Really works well. I love this one line here. This is so smashing pop. And then we're back to the verse. Then it goes verse, chorus, and here's the outro. The street heats the urgency of now. And it just goes out on the verse part. Ends on that E major or E flat major chord. That's all for now. Please subscribe here to my Everything Music YouTube channel. If you're interested in the new Beato Book 2.0 digital version, go to my website at www.rickbeato.com. You can find it there. Also, 
I have merch. You can buy your Everything Music t-shirt. I have mugs with all your different theory formulas on there. Go check it out on my website in the merch section. Thanks for watching.